Hey, it's Lauren. This is an excerpt from my conversation with Sunny Dawn Johnston. To listen to the entire episode, just head to the show notes and follow the link. Enjoy. When we're starting to open up to our intuition, I'll tell you that the number one most important thing, number one most important thing if you want to develop your intuition is you have to learn to be present. You have to learn to be present in the now moment. Um, most of us are either thinking about the past, what happened, what could have happened, what should have happened, what didn't happen, or we're thinking about the future, what we need to do, what we want to do, what we're going to do, and we miss the moments, the now moments, it, because that's in between those two places, and we tend to be in one of those two. So spirit speaks in present moment, only in present moment, because present moment's actually all we have. So the place that spirit is speaking to, your angels, your guides, your deceased loved ones, the ascended masters, the God of your understanding is always going to happen in present moment. So if you are not present in the moment, you miss the signs, the symbols, the messages, the, the, the sensations that are spirit's way of getting your attention and communicating with you. So if you wanted one most important, strongest um, tool it is to get present. And most people are like, okay, well, what does that mean? Well, it means be aware in the moment, be aware, be here now, instead of there or there, the past or the future, be here now. And if you're here now, then you see the butterfly that just kind of wisps by and, um, and it's the symbol that of your grandmother that's passed. Um, you feel the sensation of kind of the pit in your stomach when you read something and you know that that means something instead of just, oh, I have a stomach ache now. You know, you have that knowing that pops into your mind and you pay attention to it because you know that when things come to you like that, there's a bigger reason than what, then it's just a random thought that came in. And so you, when you're present, you can catch those signs. When you're not, you miss them. How do you, you know, encourage people to be present? Because I know that this is something that I actively learned about five years ago when I read The Power of Now, it changed my whole life. I started becoming aware of my thoughts, not, yes, not keeping me where I am now. So do you have any like techniques for being present? Do you do your breathing or lift your toes to be grounded? Or, you know, what do you kind of do to come back to the moment, especially when we live in such a, a life where everyone's inundated with so much information and crap, really? Sure, sure. So there's a couple of things. There's, there's different ways to be present. So being present in your body is one way. So, you know, closing your eyes and pulling yourself inward into your body and tuning into your body and, and observing what you feel, like just being in it. So as you're tuning into your body, you might feel you, like you might notice, like I'm noticing right now, the chair underneath my, my bottom. And I'm noticing the desk that's pushing up against my knee. And I'm feeling... Um, one hair on my forehead, and I'm feeling the breath in my body, uh, and I'm feeling the the chair, the armrest of my uh, on my arm. So tuning in internally and externally with the body is one way that really pulls us into presence in the body. The body is where um, all of our intuition is taking place. It takes place through either sight, we see a sign or a symbol or a message, we hear something, we know something, or we feel something. It's all happening within the body. So being present in, in, in the body internally and externally is one. The other one is being present in your environment. So it's just taking a couple of minutes and just observing where you are in this moment. So in this moment, I've got a computer screen in front of me. And in this moment, I notice the light and I see the light in front of me and I see the microphone. I see my little pink elephant. I see my stone that says I am a lighthouse. And we just get aware of this present moment. And then the other one that was really important for me when I first started recognizing how not in the moment I was, um, I was 19 years old. I just had my son and and because I nearly died with him, that was a life-changing experience in more than one way, not just being a teenage mom um, that was single, but also being um, aware that, oh my gosh, there's, there's a lot of things I need to do to change my life because I was not living a, a great life. And, uh, and so I started micromanaging my thoughts. I started becoming very aware um, of all my thoughts. And it was, it was a full-time job. Um, and I, I became aware of how negative I was 
And I became aware of how fear-based I, I was and how judgmental and critical I was. And I had to own, own it. I had to say, oh my God, this is like, I'm a nice person and this is how I am. Now, what happens to the people that aren't nice? That's what I was, that's what I would think. And so I would pay attention to my thoughts and think, oh, I've got it. And, and so every thought that was negative, I would flip it. I would flip it. I would flip it to whatever the opposite of it was. So if I thought, oh my gosh, you, you look so fat today because that was a body image was a big thing for me. And I'd say, you're getting healthier and healthier every day. Um, and I would just, literally, it was like a constant, it felt like it never ended. And, but what happened is after a few months of doing that, I had a little bit less negative thoughts and then a little bit less negative thoughts. And then, you know, a year later, I was able to get enough value and esteem to get out of the environment that I was living in, um, which was very unhealthy alcoholism and drug addiction all around me and um, have enough value in myself to do something different because I'd started training myself to be in a higher frequency and a higher vibration. So I, I think that presence is, it's just, it's so critical. And, you know, what do we do when we don't, when we're not happy, when we don't like things in our life, when things aren't going good, what do we do? We check out, you know, we, we get very unpresent because it's, it doesn't feel good when you're in it, but gosh, the power is in the present moment. Mm -hmm.